Okay. So it's been a while. I haven't filmed anything. I haven't recorded anything. I have definitely been going through it and it hasn't been fun, but I am here. This video is going to be me actively taking a break from going to the gym, <laughs> which is funny because I needed a break from reality, which is why I started going to the gym so much. The gym really does help solve about 98% of your problem. But I am now at the 2% of my problems where I realize that I haven't been dealing with. For me to come back and hopefully be at my 100% when I finally start dealing with that 2% that I was masking and hiding from and running away from. I am going to rest. I'm going to release and restore and realign with what my highest purpose is. Okay, good morning everyone. I did not do the yoga in the morning. I don't necessarily regret it. Anyways, I'm gonna end it here. I hope you guys stay tuned and just continue watching this entire video. It is currently 9.32 and I'm really gonna focus this week on recovery and healing. What are these? Copper fit ice compression sleeves for the ankles because my ankles have been hurting these past couple of weeks I'm not exactly sure why I already have them on I definitely like the smell of them I know that sounds really weird, but they kind of have like a if you're an Asian girly, you know, you know, it kind of has that like tiger bomb slash green oil scent almost um, I don't know. I personally like it. I like that kind of minty eucalyptus um, smell. I, I have the green oil right here. I will say a part of me is really excited to just go back to the gym because I did really enjoy waking up early and then I don't know if I'm going to get up tomorrow morning and go on a walk or do yoga. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling just yet. I think right now I'm still in that mode of let your body rest as it needs to. I do have a little bit of a Sephora haul. The Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. Inkyless? rosehip oil and then i got oh this is my favorite part about ordering on um online sephora got the good girl gone bad by killian perfume oh my god it smells like a dream this one though i'm really excited about i just smell a little bit of it like through this thing i just got off work it is 7 35 it's thursday now um, I was gonna go eat or I did this, but I'm honestly so excited. I have a shopping addiction alongside my like Sephora haul and everything I also bought stuff from Amazon because Amazon was also having Prime Day So we're gonna do a haul We're gonna do a haul <laughs> in desperate need of just like a kind of like a blanket that I can put in my car and Take to like picnics and whatever if I just want to be at the beach if I want to be in the park and just you know, lay down and live my life a little. Are some disposable black face masks. One last little package. <gasps> oh my gosh. Black crop top. Then I got it also in white. In the previous clip, I had bought a new outdoor blanket from Amazon. It was like 11, 13 bucks. Guys. I don't know what it is, but it is so incredibly healing. Obviously, I'm sitting on it right now. I don't know if you guys can tell right there. Like this. The perfect personal space meter for me, if that makes sense. 
This video is not sponsored by Amazon by any means necessary. I am a shopaholic. I, I have to recommend you guys this blanket. Like, maybe I can start an Amazon storefront. So it is currently Friday. It's 10.26 p.m. I have been kind of my own little world right now. I've actually been looking up the top 300 drugs out of curiosity, but also just for, um, I just, it's for work, okay? Just go with it. I have really been into frequencies lately, so I've been listening to 528, 538 hertz frequency, which is like the love frequency, frequency. And I've really been into it lately. I listen to it in the morning to really start my day off like very, very, very high vibrational. I am so happy that I did. I needed this break more than I honestly anticipated. Okay. I took a break this entire week. I'm just going through something that's like so incredibly like personal in terms of like my romantic and love life and I made a video about this recently but I didn't upload it because I just felt like it was just too personal for me to talk about so I didn't. I wanted to get out of the house and like go sit at you know the sports complex that we have nearby and it's trying i'm trying to teach myself it's okay to be alone if i could get onto this baseball field right now and just like lay out on the ba baseball field i would the libra rising in me is just like you cannot look like you are alone like deep down personally like i've always been that way you know trying to learn to be who i am alone without a partner without you know someone holding my hand and guiding me through the way this week has been really good in terms of like my physical health but mentally i think it gave me it it weirdly gave me a chance to mentally distress from all the things that i have been going through the side of me that is always so upset about the fact that i didn't have a partner i don't know this break has been great but then I realized like how sad it is because I don't really get a chance to there's a lot of things going on in my head and simultaneously nothing at all so I don't know I put my hair up to at least look somewhat presentable but a girl just loves to have her hair down everyone just needs to shh lady just like ran past while I was taking a selfie slash be real and I'm also recording like how much more Gen Z can I get I deserve more I deserve flowers I deserve a million and ten thousand great things to happen to me for me with me I'm so grateful for all the lessons that I have been learning and going through this past couple of months especially more than ever but i am trying to get out of that woe is me misery loves company type of mindset but it is so incredibly hard because there's that part of me that is just very very human if i would like to say the best way to describe it is but there's that other part of me that is just like wow girl snap back you gotta thug it out now that i don't smoke i see life in such a clear way and i'm finally dealing with all the trauma that i was going through back then i'm i'm just i'm meant for more and i'm not saying that smoking isn't fun i'm not I'm not saying that drinking isn't fun because it is and I'll be honest, I am not your typical role model that you would want your six-year-old daughter to be watching and, you know, whatever, whatever. I am just someone that tries to keep it real for myself, keep it real for the people around me. I am so grateful that I have a platform like this to speak freely, even though, you know, not a lot of people watch me, but those that do, I am so incredibly grateful. Whether you like me or you hate me or are indifferent about me, it doesn't matter because 
here in this space, I get to feel safe and I've never been able to feel safe ever, really. And I think that's really concerning, but I think that's also really healing for the child me that wanted to do YouTube so incredibly badly when I was younger and always knew that I was destined for something like this, something great. And I never got to enjoy it because everyone at this point when i started to do youtube it was very much just something that i loved to do i loved editing i loved creating but everyone was such a bully everyone was such a bully to the point where like you would make a video and you would promote it yourself and everyone would be like oh look at her doing youtube like that's so weird and i'm just like it kind of feels like you guys are projecting like you guys act as if you know you d if you didn't go viral on youtube you wouldn't love that you know like if you wouldn't now it's like if you didn't if you got tiktok famous you wouldn't brag about that you know it's very interesting anyways i'm gonna stop this video here it's been such an amazing week of resting and healing and Thank you for listening to me, Vent. So, thank you for listening. Bye, guys.